Okay. <clears throat> so after the last thing of getting, well, a plain old blue window showing up, where it just starts a render, um, a render pass, which all it does is clears the screen to a blue. Now I want to do something a bit more interesting than just clearing the screen. I want to actually uh, hopefully draw something of interest. So, uh, it's the first thing we're going to need is. Well, I'm going to need descriptor sets and shaders. Shaders are, of course, the items that run on, um, I don't know, CUDA cores or shader, ex shader units or whatever, compute units, in the case of AMD, execution units for Intel. And are programmable, of course. They determine what you want you what you want to draw on the screen, and where, and what have you. And of course, I need to set what I the, the the view area that I'm drawing to. So <clears throat> before I get the shaders and description sets, I want to just quickly get that. Um, so after we begin the render pass. This in a little thing like that. Uh, VK uh, viewport. Width and height. And it has to be float. Okay, so this. And depth values button. Right now, it's already matter. I'd rather have it done for later. Okay. And set viewport, which is the command buffer. Yeah, let's just set it to a reference, make it a little bit easier. Index zero, we have one, and it's just this one. And a scissor area. Uh, with a offset of zeros. Of imagine these need to be flowed again. You win thirty two, so that would have actually worked.
So then here would be we'd have depth bias enabled, which will not quite yet. What? Oh. Yeah, okay. UK set scissor is not declared. UK and set command set scissor. Yeah, for the moment, that should have no effect. And yeah, it doesn't. And we got this stuff still. Uh, swap chain nonsense. I'll get to that later still. Okay, so uh, the descriptor sets and shaders. Now, the script are set to use in shaders to determine what's being bound where for the case of like textures, samplers, uniform buffers, or random values. Shaders are programmable units as part of a pipeline. <clears throat> so, what uh, should start? Top down. Okay. Pipelines, 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 pipelines. All right. So they're going to be a bit of a fun little thing. Start, I'm going to start from the top level of pipelines and move my work way down. Uh, pipeline. Ooh.
Okay. Hmm. What do we need to generate a pipeline? lot of stuff if we can break this down a little bit <clears throat> so back in the day there was only really two key components there's the vertex and fragment yeah the vertex shader would have taken in vertex information like corners points of triangles quads lines and would transform them from like the, the world space that they were in into the camera space. Then we would pass that off to other shaders, perhaps like down to a graphics or tessellation shader, <clears throat> which would manipulate it a bit more, or to the fragment section, which would then take those positions and determine how to visually represent them, how to color them. Vertex shaders would, of course, be super fast. Fragment shaders would be a lot slower because they'd be doing uh, dealing with uh, lighting and color. Whatever. A whole bunch of nonsense. So I'll probably want to do something similar. I'll just want to like boil down shaders, all these shaders. I mean, there's like, are we out there now? Of sidebar shader. There's a number of them now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is a compute shader, not so much. Seven though. Taz, I'm not mesh shader is brand new to me. And these are I've never really used beyond the vertex and fragment shader, anyways. This is part of the vertex section. That's the fragment section. That would also be part of the vertex. So I'll probably want to actually break down uh, into <clears throat> two sections, basically vertex manipulation and coloration stuff. So that's... And then, of course, that'll have to be like how it's okay. We'll have a uh, pipeline. Uh, well, we'll have like at the moment an integer, which is be like a pointer to vertex descriptor. Fragment descriptor. 
So I'll merge all like vertex geometry tessellation into a vertex descriptor, and then fragment descriptor will be for the coloration stuff. And then I'll probably have a compute descriptor later, maybe. But I've really, again, I've never really touched compute uh, shaders, so I have no idea how it would fit in. But I understand these two, so that's what I'll work on. Um, vert uh, vertex. And I can read about it, but I'm not going to really uh, digest it right now. Um, <clears throat> so. What else we need? Uh, we have PK pipeline. We have a VK pipeline layout. So that's the layout of the descriptors, I presume. Uh, pipelines are also determined by the render pass. And the sum pass is part of. And we'll have a vector of these. And of course, we're going to have to have the ability to create these on the fly. Um, uh, so stars. Or just, just put it as void, actually. Don't know what it'll be yet. Okay, so obviously this the, the, this will be the thing that creates everything that'll be part of this. I don't quite want to return this though, since this can change. I'd rather put past pointers to objects in one of these I've already created back from this. Um, <clears throat> and then much like uh, what was it? Solve chain? No, render render pass pool. Oh, I just want to be able to create one from the description give and or be able to retrieve one on the fly. So So it's basically the same thing, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, it kind of would be the same. Okay. These are all the things I'll need to create a pipeline or to retrieve, figure out which one to retrieve from. That's the key to determine how to figure out which one we want. And that's just if we'd return. Oh yeah, and the description set layouts. We can use that. Because shaders have descriptor sets, so we need to know which, how many so that we can return so that we can have at least that many units bound. At any one time. <clears throat> Uh, 
<clears throat> so let's uh, make sure that's defined as that. So we don't need a constructor or explicitly defined constructor that is. If initialized, just return that. When we're destroying. Just go through them all. Same dealio for layouts. And then we say the device. Nothing, <clears throat> and we turn okay. Um, so at this point. We want to do two things. We want try first retreating and already created one because these are pretty expensive to create. Otherwise, if we can't find one, then we generate one using the given items. Um, okay, the key section which should just be these four items, yeah. Do I need to sub? No, I don't need to sub these. That and that. And. If all these are the same, then return this object's item. So. No. 
Hello. this up a little bit to be a bit more readable. Okay, go through. If we find a matching one, then we got to create this. Generate a new pipeline. Uh, in this case, we want to go into a sub function right now, which includes basically everything, passing everything again. this and if successful then we'll add this at the same time using the pointer values yep Should be able to just retrieve it instead. This, I need to still, okay, I need to determine what I'm going to do with the vertex and fragment descriptors. Now I'm going to lay these out before I can actually get this piece to work, which will be easier. Um, hmm, hmm. Vertex descriptor. How do we describe a vertex? will be through a set of shaders for uh, pipelines. If I just scroll back up, these guys, one, two, three, four. I don't know these guys quite yet. So I'll just do the, I'll just do the bulk standard ones.
Hmm. I think. Okay. No, no, no. We'll just keep it simple for the moment. And then we'll do something similar for vertex uh, fragments. Sorry. VK shader and nothing. Shader module is. But a shader is more than that. A shader is a module and descriptor sets or descriptor set layouts. Which then can be bound. The scripture sets can be bound to the layouts. Hmm. Need to go a, a layer deeper. Okay. Um. And push constants, rain. Push constant blocks. Okay. Uh, not that. I have to go in a de layer deeper. it's a collection of a few things a shader isn't just that it's um you got a shader module itself then you've got script set layouts Well, it could be more than one, can't it? If we try, okay, no, no, no. I will simplify things. Just keep one descriptor set layout per shader. So that's each stage can have one, yeah. And push constant range. Keep these things self managed internally. Probably. Okay. 
Okay, let's have some kind of like shader. mechanism perhaps hmm. yeah okay we'll just okay Shader loader, shader. We'll need to be able to define them and descriptor sets. Descriptor set layouts. I think it'd be, hmm. Mm. Okay. Loader or P manager. I'll go with the manager right now. Shader manager. They'll determine because right now I want to be able to load from file, and I don't really have a good way of doing that. Got the, in, the initialization stuff. Create, destroy shaders. Okay. Create and find. Just kind of tweet him for the moment directly. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on there.
mutex will want a vector. The ability to load one, the ability to unload one, Shared mutex? No, just a regular mutex. <clears throat> the discovery and creation shaders is going to be super rare because most of the time they'll just be after the first time, like a vertex create a, a descriptor is created, it just retrieves the list and then that's it. It doesn't actually need to be able to retrieve it anymore. But this will be like a shared pool. So if multiple descriptors use them for different reasons maybe I'm, eh, I'm not entirely sure actually whatever Let's just let's just go fully through the shader, and then I'll branch back out to other other items. This is already ballooning into ridiculous. Now initialize first starts off with um, You know what? No. No 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 no. If you don't know it's initialized then what are you doing? Tell me you go into this, we're going to do um, exclusive lock. Mm. 
name. Name of the file. Hmm. Mm. Hold a sec. Gotta grab a drink. Okay. <clears throat> shader, shader names. Okay, we'll have, uh, I don't want to, but name the shader. Probably be like the file name. Something I'll branch out to someone else later. For the moment though, it's here. Shader, it's a pointer, right? Or um, should be. If. If the same, then we just return. Turn that. Otherwise, we'll need to create. Don't load it yet. Just is that is that it? Oh, and um, yes, the manager will be me. This guy. This guy. This is just this.
all the temporary ones I've put in a separate one. So what what have I got? Okay. That is a bit surprising. So how to determine how many have a referencing hmm. Whatever, we'll uh, get to that. Okay, um, do I really want to do this? Yeah. I don't really want to load things through the managers or instigate the loading from the managers, I should say. I want to instigate them from the objects themselves. Hmm. I don't, hmm. I want to kind of have reference and usage counting as well. I don't know. Okay. Okay. That's what we do on these. Count and use count. standard def and then you can have Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. 
increment and decrement reference and use counts. Now, incrementing reference count doesn't really matter. What a real fun, interesting thing is with the use count if. Um, If we increment the use count and it equals one, that means we're the first one to have incre incremented this guy. Oh, no, no, no. No, but use count isn't everything. We need uh, some kind of enum for like load state. Yes. And then if If we've, we're incrementing the use and load state, that if it is unloaded, then we can go into my manager and load me. And do I even have a use for reference count? Yeah, reference count will pre prevent me from deleting. When there's still references to him. So basically, I've created a different version of a smart pointer, another unique, no, shared pointer, but slightly more complexity. I think I can live with that. Um, <clears throat> the shader manager, though, will have to be friends. With him to allow that to be accessible. Um, as well as I need to actually say it's a that oh circular circular dependency no
and so eliminate the circular dependency since we can just instead have it just uh, like that from creator tool, just a declaration here. We can define it down here. It's not a manager, it's a pool. Let's rename that while we got it. declaration matches that you'd be right Oh, he's public, right? So, oh, friend. So, yeah, okay, that's not an issue anymore. And he is complete. Yeah, okay. He can go around. Yeah. Just trying to think of all the implications of this. I'll probably want to reapply this to other things. I'll split it out later. For, okay, for the moment, let's fixate back on loading. So we have this. And then we'll want to Loaded, I guess. But we need to make sure we're the only one who is loading this one. So we're expecting it to be load state loaded. Change strong for expected to load state loading. If we return false, that means someone else someone else has beaten us to loading, starting the loading process, so we'll just leave. And then we'll increment reference count so that um, we don't accidentally delete the shader object while we're loading it during this process. For the moment, I guess. Yeah, I don't really wanna, okay, yes. Uh, do I have a, um... no, I don't. Okay, uh, I'm gonna transfer all this down into the actual proper class so I can use the graphics log. You, 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 our sources, move them. 
U U U Q headers. Get rid of you guys. And then these guys are going to be looking in new locations. Okay, they compile. They don't work, but they compile. It's back to what I was doing in here. Um, yes, the, the, the uh, log. We increment him, and we're going to go with. log. It'll be the actual pointer, and then it'll be the name. We're attempting to load them. I need I need a VK shader molecule. Is that it? We have um, okay. What else? We're gonna need something else, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, my God. What's even the point of all this if I don't even have a shader to do. Okay. Lives data. We'll just come to it in a moment. So many other things. A lot of boilerplate and stuff to get through before I can even draw stuff again.
We're going to use at least that. That much I know. We need the shader file itself. Okay, which also means that. It's binary. These are already spur V. Pretty binary, it's in. It's ATE. Let's leave that for a moment. What do we need for shader? Shaders must be multiple of four because they're uint 32. Okay. Tell us the size of it. Seek back to the beginning. What are we returning? Void auto. I'm going to return that. Size to size, divided by four. Uh, sorry, not file data. We want to read. Okay, I'll just do that once. So we don't even have to redo this calculation again. That, 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 that. Um, if we return that, then we just want to return, okay, move this back out. We'll put it earlier. Let's return him, but he'll have like size of zero, which means it's a, it failed to load. Let 
Okay. That loads a shader from file into an intermediate state. Now we need to convert it to a um, shader module itself. We have the device. We need Vulcan. Turning. We'll just keep it simple like that for the moment. File path equals either check if the file path even exists. If it exists, if it doesn't exist, then return. Grab that um, log again. Say false. Not found. Leave. Otherwise, your data equals shader data from file. Equals that. If Failed. To, yeah, know what? Hmm. No. Oh, yeah. 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 So it failed to find. Failed to load. Shared module file. Shader module create and file.
equals If we have logs deep enough that we don't really need to bubble up errors, well, we still need to return the fact that there was an error, but we don't need to bubble up the actual errors as much, especially since they may be more implementation defined, things that we can't return back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, uh, so we've got, we've got the virus. allow us to turn into an error code, which we can then... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If not errors code... No, if error code. So we got uh, from external shader, and then we got message see the play otherwise we return and we pass all of that into this So we got the name, we got the device, and we got the We have the shader module. So if, if uh, this thing would uh, be pool, wouldn't it? If loaded, if you loaded it from there. Then we're gonna say P shader. Is it not in the same external shader? HPP? No. Error code not found. Did I not add it? I didn't even add it. Did I just add it to this? And that's why? Yeah. Move it from him, move it back to area graphics. Almost. Oh, yes. Um, shader module. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me set the load state to be sewed state, load state. And then no matter the case, we say we decrement perfect count. We also need a fail. Failed to load for whatever reason. Now, oh, this is all on a single thread as well. Not great. Okay, and we need this similar for warning if it's if we're if we're unloading it while we have multiple users still so they're retrieving it twice we'll just say that uh, it's p shader with p shader name Well, mm, no, do it right.
make sure it's loaded to unloaded. If it's a different state load loading, then that's kind of external. Then I don't really care. Okay. Size of T. What? Oh. It's a, it's a different pointer. You don't accept void pointers, right? There we go. Okay, well, that takes care of the, the shader module part. Uh, there's more to do. Okay, uh, let's create a, <clears throat> a, a, a just a, the world's most garbage vertex shader. Zero. Does it really matter? Do I do I need to specify the set? Probably should. But I don't know what the sets will be yet. Ah, whatever. I just need something that works. Vec three in position. Through field SLA validator file uh, is test avert SPV. Uh, expecting semicolon or yes on this on this no vertex out block sorry ah. Uh. Requ oh, I need a version block. Say 450, I think, is the latest. Something like that. Okay, and then we have this. Yes, this. This is very readable. I understand it perfectly. I understand this part especially well. Okay. The world's most garbage thing. Let's see if we can actually in here... Okay, this is per frame in main here. Uh, 
Uh, not quite. I need to actually have that stuff initialized first. Yeah, whatever. It's just temporary. See what blows up. Yeah, that does nothing. I didn't even add it to the Wow, that's pretty terrible. That's a pretty terrible thing I did. Oh yes. Oh yes. <clears throat> okay. This time, we added it. It's on there. We're going to return it. Um, everything else is basically null. And I decremented instead of incrementing. God. Dang. Go in. He's unloaded. We're going to load it. We go in. Making sure we're correct. He's unloaded. Now we go into loading state. That's fantastic. We recommend reference count, attempting to load shader. Great. And then we die right away. End of input reach while decoding OP member name, starting with word 46. Spur view. Whoa. Okay. We're in here somewhere. Did I make a... It's not empty. Yeah, he's not empty. Goes ahead, he does this stuff, and then we got an error code. A very bad error code. Truncated literal string operand network word offset three. I mean, you obviously found the file and you opened it up. Why do I not just not know how to create a simple shader? Version 450. In position, in UV, out UV, layout location zero. No, that's. Okay. Wow. 
what use is this if I can't even oh 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 oh, oh. yes oops because I divided it by four I need to read times by four because it's per character yes yes I know what I'm doing right go down here where the error was we're still bad still really bad okay just don't divide it by four don't divide it by four size of that Yeah, no, it's, that's right. Interpret cast as a char star. Don't mess around with the size. Okay, what is the size? <clears throat> size is 800. That's divisible up by four. 800 characters. Okay, that's pretty large. So that's 200 of these guys, right? Yeah, all zeros. Loaded in. We've got a whole bunch of stuff now. Mm-hmm. We'll close it up, move on. That's 200. Still got an error. And if we input reach for decoding OP member name, strength word 46. <sighs> okay. Because it's not even like at word 200, it's at word 46 that's screwing up. Binary in ATE. Make sure it's open. Forget the size. Divide it by four, make sure it's divisible by four. Seek back to the beginning. You resize the... that to the correct size that we read it in of 800 right What exactly is size?
So word 36 will be this guy right here. Code size of 200, we've got the code there. No flags, error. Okay, well, I'm just going to just, I'm just going to take a break then. Because I really mm, don't know why. And it's just not even coming back out either. So yeah, I'm going to take a break from this and maybe figure it out while I'm doing something else in a minute probably.